All right, guys, Mr. Doom is here, and we're going to do this YouTube style, right? Everybody said that I was boring, that it's not like in class because I was just like talking like a professional and things like that. You want to be, be like, you know, hit that like button, hit subscribe, YouTube stuff, but I'm not going to do it. But today we're going to make mole mash. All right, so nice, boring. This probably won't even make the cut. I don't know, maybe I'll leave it in there for a minute and then later on edit the YouTube video where uh, I cut all this craziness out. Um, but yeah, no no jumping on tables, no you know Wonka Wednesdays, nothing. Just straight up, you, the video, me, and a monotone voice. So let's get started. All right, first things first, we have this app called Mole Mash. Now it's kind of like a game called Whack-A-Mole where the mole would pop up and uh, you would take this hammer and you would smash it down, okay? And uh, the the mole would go back and it's kind of animal abuse, but it was at like Chuck E. Cheese and some of these other things. So it wasn't a real mole, it's just plastic, probably teaching kids bad habits. But we're gonna use those bad habits to turn it into a productive app today. So um, go ahead and go down to the uh, title screen and let's rename that. Let's name that Mole Mash, all right? Oh, on this one, we'll space it. All right, so you're gonna need just a few different um, uh, pieces over here. Uh, of course, you're gonna need a canvas. So we're gonna look in the drawing animation drawer and pull out a canvas. And on this one, I think we're gonna make it, let me check my numbers here, 300 pixels by 300 pixels. So down here, I'm gonna click canvas and under height, say pixels, we'll say 300. In the tutorial, it has you rename your canvas to my canvas. Doesn't matter, you can name it whatever you want, just as long as you can find it. Um, you're also gonna need to pull out from the user interface drawer a label down here. We're gonna use that for our score. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename the label as um, score label. And then we can change the text down here to, you know, score. We're going to change that automatically in um, the, the blocks view where it's gonna update so it'll say score and then it'll actually have your score value. Um, we're gonna need a button. We're gonna rename it reset button. The hardest button to button. I should edit that out too. Um, that's a song by the White Stripes. That's ridiculous. It's, I just keep saying the hardest button to button and clearly the reset button is the hardest button to button. You can't even get your fingers around that thing. So we're going to rename the text, reset. Boom. We need two objects that are non-visible. All right, we're gonna need a, in the sensors drawer, we're gonna need to find the clock and we're gonna need one other component. Um, oh, silly me, we need the image sprite. So I'm gonna drag in an image sprite from the drawing and animation drawer. And we're going to come over here to the side and we're gonna pick a picture. I've already uploaded the mole picture. So there's our cute little mole. Put them wherever you want on the screen. And um, I think that's it for the time being for our designer view. So now let's switch on over to the blocks view and start programming. All right, so we're gonna use some of these um, purple uh, procedures here. And we're gonna use the two procedure do um, function. So uh, the first one we're gonna do is make a procedure where the mole moves. All right, I'm gonna copy and paste this because the second procedure we're gonna make is where we update the score. Um, just for clarity, I'm going to go back to the designer view. I'm going to rename this image sprite to the mole. 
Um, that makes it a lot easier when you're dealing with multiple images. Just a good practice to have to keep everything named correctly. So if you look on the side, you should see there's the canvas, the label, reset button, the clock that we're using for the timer, and the mole. All right, so let's start working on the procedures. The first procedure is going to be to move the mole. So what I need to do is I need to go into the mole um, drawer because that's what we're working with, and we want to um, set the X. So set the mole X. And we're going to use an algorithm, so some math here. We're going to look for the multiplication one. Pop that in there. Now the first thing we want to do is uh, just a random fraction. So let me look for there's random random integer. We know about that. So here's random fraction. So we we'll use that, and then we want to multiply that by the uh, width of the canvas, subtracting the width of the mole. So let's go into canvas. Let me look. It's hidden under my face here, width of the canvas. Oh, excuse me. We have to put in the subtraction one. All right, so there's the width. And now we go into the mole. And we look for the mole width. Beautiful. I'm going to take that whole entire block, copy and paste it. And I'm going to, instead of it being the X, I'm now going to work on the Y value. I'm going to change the canvas width to height and the mole width to height. And we are finished with our first procedure. Now remember, good practice, you can double click this and set it aside so it you know, cleans it up. Um, the next thing we're going to work on is the score. So the first thing we want to do is grab the variable and initialize the variable. So what are we going to name this variable? Well, score, of course. And what's the value when you start off with the score? Well, in this instance, we're going to put 0. All right. uh, the next part that we want to do is we want to uh, update that score. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to look into our score label drawer. And we're going to set the text. And we want two things. We want our number to continually update, but we want the word score to always stay there. So we're going to use the text drawer, and we're going to join two things. We're going to join the text, which, remember, this is in quotation marks. So it's like our string. So we're going to say score and a colon, put a space. And then the next thing that we put is going to be our uh, global score so that it updates. So whatever this number turns out to be, it will always update in the score. So under variables, we want to get that global score. So right now, the score update will be um, 0 because there's nothing stored in there. So the, we'll use these two procedures and some other um, event handlers uh, here in a minute. So now that those are made and we have our variable, let's go ahead and work on um, how you actually get a score, which is by, you know, whacking the mole. Just don't use your fist, though, because it's a phone and probably a screen repair or something like that. It'll, it'll be messy. So I want to look in here and um, uh, let's see. It's under mole. When the mole is touched, okay, not touched down, but touched. So if you put touched down, um, that's going to be something a little bit different, okay. So the first thing we want to do is get those sweet, sweet points. So we got to set your global variable or global score, excuse me, um, to. Whatever, so this is going to be math. We want the global score to equal the global score plus what, however many points it's going to be worth. Okay, so we'll go back to the variables and say get global score plus, I don't know, put the number block in there. You guys are weird like this. You'd be like, oh, 1 million billion, and you know, it, we'll just go 10. We'll do it by 10, okay? 
Um, then we want to, oh, you know, it'd be fun. Let's go back to the designer view. Let's add in, um, from the media, a sound. It's going to be a non-visible component. We'll go back to the blocks. Let's add in a sound. So, um, you know, once you touch the, um, mole, you know, you can make it say boing, you know, what it, whatever, like make up a sound. Or in this case, we're just going to make it vibrate, make the phone or machine vibrate for um, let's do a hundred milliseconds. That way, you know, you know, you, you actually uh, made contact with the mole. You're going to get your sweet points and it's going to alert you that you did it. Um, now we're going to use our um, procedures that we made. Now, after you make a procedure like move mole and update score, you'll be able to find that in the procedures drawer. See where it says call move mole, call update score. So we're going to call update score, attach that. We're going to say call move mole. These are like recipes up here um, that you don't want to write over and over and over. Um, so you can just do the procedure once and attach it. Um, anytime uh, you know you need that procedure to go, um, you can just call it from this procedure store. Okay, so we've got our two procedures. We've got our global variable score. We have what happens when you hit the mole. Now we need to do something um, like move the mole around and uh, do our reset button. So let's work on the mole uh, timer. That'll be the easiest. So uh, all you do for this is call the move mole procedure. Okay, so that's gonna, you're gonna go to the designer view and you can change your intervals for the uh, clock. You know, this is uh, right now it's set at a thousand. Let's see. Let's set it to 500. You can always make it faster later. You can change, play around with those variables, um, but we'll make it for that. Um, the last one we want to mess with is the reset button. So when the reset button's clicked, what do we want to happen? Well, we want everything to reset. So we want um, both the global score, the actual variable to reset, and we want um, the, the update score to reset so that it says zero instead of, uh, you know, on your home screen, whatever your last score was. So we'll go into variables and we'll say set your global score to zero. And then you will update your score. So procedure. Call update score. Let's go ahead and connect the emulator and see what happens. All right, so we've got our mole moving around the screen. It's pretty quick, but I'm going to get him. Got it. Got it. 20. Get over here, you little mole. 40. 50. Now this is going to turn into a gameplay video, so, you know. Top 10 tips for mole mash. Order your mole bucks today for new mole skins. Awesome DLC, which slows the mole down to one second per mole movement. All right, now let's test this reset button. Oh my gosh, the score is zero. Game over. Don't forget, subscribe. Hit the like, the like button, and behave while you're at home.